All right, what's up, YouTube? Mind Games here. It's Jasper with another review for you guys. Uh, today we're doing the Griffin Clarify. Uh, picked this up at during the Apple One Day Sale actually online. Um, I think normal retail is thirty four ninety nine. I got this for twenty four bucks. Um, but yeah, so here it is, the Griffin Clarify. Uh, let's open this up and see what's inside. So there's the box without anything. Um, we'll see what's what the box says. It says built-in lens for clear detail close-ups, um, and then that's French down there. Uh, I won't read that since a bunch of you probably don't speak French, but you know you can read it yourself if you if you speak French. Um, contains clarified case with case with close-up lens, static peel screen protector, and premium premium cleaning cloth. Um, it adds a lens to your iPhone camera for sharper close-ups, uh, slides back for normal photography. So that's what it's all about. Uh, here's the case. We'll show you what's inside this real quick. Um, now there was a screen protector in here. I kind of used it already. Uh, I messed up on the installation, so I don't have that anymore. But yeah, so I still have the cleaning cloth. Uh, now this is a cool cleaning cloth because Griffin, if I can find it, down there, if you can see. Let me try to close up there. You can see that. Griffin, they embroidered it. And it's a pretty nice silky sort of feeling microfiber cleaning cloth, which is awesome. They add that in. Uh, Griffin gives you nice stuff when they send you stuff. But anyway, here's the case. Uh, this is the bottom. Here's the top. It's a slider case, so it does slides together like that. Um, the inside is a nice rubbery type material, which covers practically the entire inside of the phone. Uh, so you do have, it doesn't scratch your phone at all. It feels nice and rubbery. The back again out here has the same material. Uh, it has a nice plastic finish here for a nice flashy look. Um, this is the camera lens, which I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, the inside here, um, let's try again. If you can see that, there are there is a railing, there is an indent right there so that it doesn't scratch, like your buttons won't get scratched when you slide this on which isn't bad but um yeah let's wipe these down and throw it on so we'll wipe this down and then just take it make sure your silent is it's not on silent you just take it and it slides in really nicely there you go. So the top is slid in pretty nicely. And the bottom, you just take it um, and just slide it on. There you go. So there you have it. It's on. Very nice. Um, the sides, you're fully exposed. You can still get to your volume and you can still silent switch with this. Uh, nicely exposed. The top, Fully exposed, you can still get to your SIM card if you need it. Um, your sleep awake is there and your headphone jack is still fully exposed. The bottom, your speakers and your port cover, still exposed but uh, nicely cut out. Not, not covered at all and your mic is still um, there. Your back, whoops, sorry. You do have that camera lens thing which is pretty cool. Uh, it does slide back and forth. Uh, if you think it's going to damage the inside, it doesn't. Uh, this is, as you can see, it's still indented out a bit, so it won't scratch your phone at all when you're sliding it back and forth. Um, so you can use that for normal photography or this for close-up photography. Now, I do have some samples over here, if I still have them. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, yeah, there you go. So you can see that. That's the... Uh, 
without the lens of my battery on my laptop that's with the lens you can see it's a bit clearer with and without it is clear which is pretty awesome uh, so they give you that um, the front you have a nice lay on the table design uh, you can see it covers around fully so you can throw it down pretty nicely um, now what kinda sucks about this is that if you're not careful if you see that down there your screen protector will lift a bit which kinda sucks but that's the consequences of like a good case <laughs> I think um, it will lift your screen protector a bit unless you're using maybe a Zag or best skins ever bodyguards uh, or phantom skins you know those things are kinda stuck on so they won't bubble up like this but these static cling ones or whatever they are uh, they do lift a bit which I didn't really like but it is a nice case uh, you do have that front lay on the table design there you have the back lay on the table design what also sucks about the back here is that it does scratch easy um, which I didn't really like but it does scratch easy uh, when you first get it it has a plastic film over it that you just kind of peel off you can keep it on if you want but it covers the whole back and it looks kind of cheesy but yeah so these it does scratch back here which kind of sucks but you do have that front lay on the table design which is pretty awesome um, and then in the hand it feels really nice uh, there is that little indent like protruding thing right here of the griffin but it doesn't you don't really feel it and then you don't really feel the camera lens because you usually hold it like this you don't hold it up here because that's just kind of I don't know um, maybe if you're holding it like this but it doesn't really bother you that much it didn't bother me but it does feel nice in the hand um, in your pockets it slides out it slides out really easily uh, it doesn't grip to your pockets at all it doesn't catch any lint or anything um, it might it may catch some lint around the edges here but you can easily wipe it out off um, it's not a bad case there's some drop protection there you can see it's a plastic case so there is drop protection uh, it will impact the drops um, but it's not it's a not a bad case it's one of my top five actually when I decide to make that top five video I saw Carlos make one but it's not a bad case at all um, it is a nice design uh, plastic case uh, the only thing I didn't like was that a lot of this was exposed maybe if they covered this a bit but that's Griffin's what Griffin shows it keeps everything cut out here you can probably put this thing in upside down if you wanted to uh, which would be kinda stupid actually no you can't because there isn't that ledge here for your buttons so you can't put it in upside down what am I talking about But yeah what I didn't like was that it is fully cut out here and it does show some of the chrome up here and down here too um, I wish that Griffin like kinda closed it up over here over your sim card tray but I guess it's for more people that like to switch their phones so you can get to your sim card tray pretty easily instead of having to take it off the phone or whatever you know you can get to your sim card tray uh, for those kinda people but if you're into photography and you don't like how the camera doesn't focus in on anything, uh, check this out. The lens does its job. It it has nice uh, close-up shots, and it's not a bad case at all. Um, it's a slider case. It does feel nice. It looks nice too. If they had another colors, it'd be pretty cool. Or if this was two-toned, kind of is. This looks kind of gray, and this is black, but. It does look really nice. It does its job. Protects your phone and also camera. You know, if you're big about, if you like using your camera a lot, you can use it. Uh, so it's not a bad case. Uh, check them out. GriffinTechnology.com or go to your local Apple store. That's where I got mine. Or online. You know, check them out anyway. That's all I have for you guys. So peace out, YouTube.